guys, Jason here, and welcome to another episode of Driver's Paddock. Today, I'm joined by my teammate and good friend, Leo, and we're with his here with his Mark 8 GTI. Leo, can you tell us a little bit about your car, what's been done to it, and what are some of the must-do mods for any Mark 8 GTI owner looking to track their car? So basically, my car is uh, mostly stock, I would yeah. say. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> mostly stock. Yeah, my car is mostly stock, too. Okay, so it has uh, coilovers and uh, Zero Super Motorsport front subframe locking kit, which is a must if you're doing hardcore track. With uh, this, M uh, basically all MQB chassis requires that locking kit. And also a racing line engine oil cooler, and the brake pads, and uh, h &R rear sway bar, and some some rice, basically. Gotcha, like this car just looks absolutely amazing. Like it has the carbon fenders, the carbon hood, it has the, uh, was there a pole position that you have in there? Yeah. Pole position, and can you tell us a little bit about the steering wheel, because there's a lot going on there. So that is Zestec Racing, uh, steering wheel hub with a OMP Targa 330 uh, steering wheel. Basically, it retains all your uh, OEM functions on your OEM steering wheel, but in a smaller wheel. And also you can add spacers. That way you can push the wheel out more so it, you can sit more back and uh, basically you can still hold the steering wheel. So basically you can sit basically where the uh... The, the A pillar is kind of like a TCR race car. So here's what's gonna happen. Leo's gonna take me out in his car. He's gonna do a couple laps. He is one of the best FF cars drivers that I personally know. And the thing is, you'll see how he rotates the car. Uh, and the thing is in a front row drive car, if you're not rotating the car, especially at a tight track like this, you're always gonna be destroying the front tire. And so Leo basically has the unofficial fastest GTI for sure, maybe even Golf R or lap time. So. Uh, we'll go out there, we'll take a look at some of his driving, and uh, maybe I'm going to do a few laps and I'll give you my thoughts on his car. Does that sound good? Yeah, definitely. Right. Let's go. So if you want to go to track with your Mark 8, you have to do certain procedures. So first of all, Put your car into sports or race, and then you're gonna go to assist. You're gonna turn off your front assist emergency braking. Turn that off. You don't need that. Okay, go to this small button here. Click it. Go all the way down. Turn off an emergency assist. And then, uh, if you don't have a, a quick selection menu, you have to go to your vehicle. Yo, hurry up, the track time's gonna be over. Uh, hold on, hold on, wait. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, over here. It's, uh, no, no, not here. Okay, one second. Wait, every single time you have to do this, every single time you turn off your car? Turn off your car. Yeah, and also oh now your, uh, your exhaust valve. Okay. Open up. Now you're good to go. And now you're good to go. Yeah, now you're good to go. Oh my goodness, okay.
traction control off, confirm, close that, go to assist, go to front end emergency braking, turn on, confirm. One eternity later. Yeah, it's good. That means good. Okay, we are in my friend Leo's GTI. And he is putting down some ridiculous times today. And uh, I'm gonna go for a spin. I'm not gonna full send this car. We're having some uh, trouble with the front tires. We're just about to show some cord. But I hope to show what a good front wheel drive car is like. And the thing is, if a front wheel drive car doesn't rotate, you're always gonna be destroying the front tires. And as my good friend Sean, who is an amazing front wheel drive uh, driver, always says, Cayuga is a front wheel drive track. If you can get the car to rotate and commit to the throttle, drive car it's such that it needs to be able to rotate if not you're always gonna be killing the front tires so if I'm here and I throw it in you gotta expect the rear end to come around like that throw it in off throttle it points the direction that I want to go the rear end just steps out a little bit nothing dramatic right here so everybody I just got out of uh, Leo's GTI and it was a ton of fun and this car is really really typical of a very well set up dynamically front wheel drive car it rotates when you want it to and um, if you lift off the rear end will just come out and it'll step out it'll oversteer slightly it'll yaw and all you need to do is point it in the right direction and go and if you need more rotation mid corner just tap the brake the rear end's going to come out gradually and slowly and they've really set this up very well dynamically and the differential in the mark 8 gti is really really good it's not quite as good as elantra n front differential but it definitely claws you out of corners it is really really good the the issue with this car i think is it's uh it needs a little bit more front rebound when you change direction you need a little bit more rebound uh, i think the tire is actually rolling over a little bit it needs more front camber actually i think i think four four and a half degrees might not be too much on this car and um playing around with tire pressures i think is really important not running them too low in the front so you need a little bit more sidewall stiffness in this car i feel even with these very very aggressive tires and the thing is i was only able to put down oh 
a, a low 118. Leo is doing 116s today in a Mark 8 GTI. That's absolutely crazy. And the way he drives is he just gets the car and he gets it rotated. He points it in the direction he wants to go and he just absolutely sends it. And the track conditions aren't perfect today. Uh, turn two, turn three is very, very slippery. I had a, I had off track there a little bit, um, and he also went off track there as well. It's very, very slippery, and so in optimal conditions, this car is going to go even faster. He had a one one sixteen point six, but he hit traffic. That's absolutely crazy. Well, obviously he's an amazing, amazing driver, and he knows how to um, exploit. Uh, the front wheel drive advantages at TMP. And my good friend Sean, who's also a really good FF driver, he always talks about TMP as being a front wheel drive uh, track. It, it has advantages to be front wheel drive. Essentially, take turn two, for example, you can really, really send it and use all of the curb and all of that zone as a braking zone and then just get on power and it pulls you straight. And you just get the car rotated and boom, you're back on the gas. So, I'm absolutely blown away by the Mark 8 GTA. Obviously, this thing is not stock, but it doesn't have that many mods. It has Bilsteins, it has you know steering wheel, seat, has tires, pads, um, with even more development. This thing's gonna be crazy. Um, but I think we need to work a little bit on the damping just a bit. And okay, the Volkswagen Mark 8 GTI. I actually am mine blown i can't believe how fast this guy is going in a mark 8 gti gti should not be going this fast it speaks to a few things number one uh the car setup okay and so m tech auto they set up this car leo he tells them what they want they set it up together and i think the hallmark of a good front wheel drive car is the way that it rotates and this thing definitely rotates he points in the direction it needs to go and he just commits to the throttle it's absolutely amazing to watch and he is doing 116s at TMP today. 116. The, the conditions are not even optimal, okay? This is a Mark 8 GTI. This is faster than any GTI around here, any Golf R around here, and that's absolutely crazy. Leo, can you tell the listeners, the watchers, what's the right way to drive a front-wheel drive car? So basically, to drive a front-wheel drive car, you don't drive like a real-wheel drive car, which is a uh, complete opposite. So for a front-wheel drive car, because uh, normally front-wheel drive cars have all the weights, I mean most of the weights in the front. So for corner entry, you actually can carry more speed than what you think you can. And you don't need to do that much trail braking because mm -hmm. the weights are already in the front. Mm -hmm. So you just need to do slight trail braking to get the car to rotate. And then you just let the car do a thing. Um, you use throttle to correct oversteer may want to repeat that to correct oversteer so for a river drive car you use the throttle to rotate the car that's right to you put on the power the car rotates but front wheel drive car it's very different it's actually the complete opposite you use throttle to correct oversteer that way you can go through a corner without much of a steering input because when you do slight trail braking turn the car in the car is already turning you just control the rear by the throttle. Okay, if you have too much oversteer, on gas. If, if, if your car is understeering, get out of the throttle. Then you're just controlling through the, through the turn. Mm -hmm. And basically, you just have to be very gentle on corner exit for slower corners. Because naturally, front wheel drive, you can only do one thing with your front tires. You can either turn or brake or accelerate. You cannot have both at the same time, sort of. Exactly, so what Leo's doing and you're watching his driving is, like he said, he uses a trail brake, he rotates the car and he uses a throttle because the front wheels are pulling the car straight. So he controls the yaw of the car, the rotation of the car, and once it's optimal, he's on power. And the thing is, if you drive it like a rear-wheel drive car, if you're braking, you're turning in, you're gonna be really delayed on power. And the thing is, with a front-wheel drive car, you wanna get on power as soon as possible to essentially pull you out of the corner. So Leo, I know you're gonna to continue to go faster and faster in this car. What else is planned for this thing? I know this is not the last time we're gonna see this car on this channel. Of course, Leo is a good friend of mine. He's my teammate. We're gonna be at so many track events together, but how are you gonna to continue to improve this car and, and what do you have planned? 
So right now, uh, the the MQB chassis is a little bit soft for my liking. Um, I'm planning to put a four point roll cage in the back to sit on the rear of the chassis. And also I'm gonna have a uh, slightly wider fender to fit uh, 10J wheels and <laughs> 275 front tires. Okay. Because uh, this car is definitely lacking front end grip without a like a proper size tire. Because right now the car is running 245 in the front, mm. which uh, really lack front end uh, grip because mm. we are not doing any uh, weight saving on this car. I mean, a little bit, the rear seats, but the rear seats is only weights a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and the hood is actually heavier than stock. Oh my <laughs> These God. Are oh, some, but it's heavier than stock. Uh, yeah, because okay. it's a very rice okay. hood. Okay. Um, so, yeah, wider front tires mm -hmm. and also AP racing front brake calipers because mm -hmm. with the stock brake calipers, uh, from stock front brake calipers, they stop. But if you drive very aggressively, you can burn through the seals and it can leak, mm. basically. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see how this continues to develop. And man, the Mark 8 GTI and Leo as a driver, it's just a crazy combination. So, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to continue to see this car develop. Uh, if you want some car setup, up, MTech Auto is the way to go in terms of, well, any, any layout, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, doesn't matter. You let them know how you want the car to behave and they'll get it set up right. So thanks to everyone. Thanks to Leo to uh, letting me drive the car and telling us his secrets. Uh, but the, really the secret is car setup and driver mod. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.